Welcome back. Some people are moving to Bemidji, Minnesota for $2,500. Business leaders there say that with many people working remotely, a rural renaissance is taking place across the country. People are leaving the big cities in favor of smaller towns in search of a better quality of life. So because of the pandemic and just the ability for everyone to work from home, a lot of people made that shift and now they can choose that quality of life that they really want and work literally anywhere. So why not Bemidji? Since the $2,500 award was announced earlier this year, 22 families have taken advantage of it. There are some additional perks available as well and you can learn more about the program by calling 218relocate.com. Veterans Day is a few weeks away, and if you're looking for a way to celebrate, First Lutheran Church in Fargo will be honoring veterans with a concert and appreciation dinner. The dinner will begin at 6 p.m. for vets and their families. The public event will start at 7 p.m. on Veterans Day, November 11th. The brass ensemble of the 188th Army Band will perform patriotic anthems. Beware of a scam circulating on Facebook that's targeting people in Roseau, Minnesota. We're told it was in a Facebook group that the Post said that a $175,000 reward is being offered to anyone who can identify a person caught on camera who was sexually abusing a teen jogger. The Post included a link for you to view the alleged footage, but it would take you to another website that required you to enter your Facebook information. The police say it's a scam, and if you did click on the link, you are encouraged to change your password. And Cass County authorities say that they've received multiple reports this week of a scammer identifying themselves as Hunter Nugent. The caller claims to be with the sheriff's office and tells the victim that they will be arrested. There's an arrest warrant out for them for failing to appear for jury duty or they missed a scheduled appearance. If you are contacted by the scammer, please don't give them any information. The need for your blood remains high, but does your vaccination status affect whether you can help? Find out after this break.